right, so this is one of my favorites. This is Flynn, and David did the bath for me. And uh, we're not doing very much today. So I'm just going to brush them out more. And we've already done a pre-haircut already, but this is the after the bath. You okay? Yeah. Using my favorite spray bottle, we'll do the, the stuff leave-in conditioner a little bit here. Take off. I need to take that one home. <clears throat> okay. To change the cord on it. So we actually, mom and dad wanted, uh, we left the coat this time. We needed to brush it out really good, so we did that before the bath, but we did take the feet down. Down here, we took the down with the seven and then fade in with the four guard. I used a 10 under the four guard. That's my preference. They did like the feet a little short. If you do most everything before the bath, you clean up and when you're done with the bath and blow dry, it will be so much easier. They wanted to leave the fluff on the head this time. And birthday he turned one years old and he is huge man for one years old this is crazy to me while he's sitting here I'm just gonna hit this real fast Sweetie. 
Ja, ja. All that maroon is uh, chewing, so be aware. Maybe allergies, maybe grass, it may just be nerves, but just be aware that that's what that is. Licking, chewing, whatever they might be doing. leaving everything pretty fluffy. We did a seven down the, the chin earlier. Excuse me. No. Focus. Did a seven down here earlier. They wanted that pretty short. All right. Flynn has gotten uh, pretty big. And he's did a lot better today than he did last time. And he was an excellent puppy. Y'all don't want to sit, man. That dog upstand is just a lifesaver. Okay, we're good to go. So the combo of the Pet Silk Shampoo and Conditioner really affect the coat. I mean, it is super soft. And then when you add that just that silkiness of the stuff conditioner, it just really just tops it all off. And then you have the fragrance of the pet silk. Oh my goodness, it's so lasting. And it just smells delicious. So then you kind of just seal everything in with the, the Rainforest Cologne as well, the pet silk Rainforest Cologne. And we have that as a kit on the website. But like you can't go wrong if you do all of it because it, I can promise you when you do just shampoo, there's a little bit difference and then you do the conditioner and you can definitely tell. And then you do that pet silk, uh, or excuse me, the leave-in conditioner, um, the stuff. And the pet parent at that point is like, oh wow, the smell and the silky feel. It's just, it's just beautiful. It all works together, kind of like cooking a beautiful soup, but it's your pet, and he say, you smell wonderful, boy. You smell wonderful. Yes, you do. You smell so good. 
Yes, you do. Is that the phone ringing? Hmm? That the phone ringing? It didn't ring very long, did it? Some random stuff here. Okay. All right, we're good to go. All right, thanks for watching TD Corey with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. Thank you for your support. Thanks for your orders. You can order at myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. And we've got tons of specials. Sometimes if you want to save money, your best bet is going to be an unadvertised ad that we cannot post sales for. So you'll want to call me for especially some clipper deals and set deals or you're going to want me to, uh, to or you're going to want to email me. So make sure you call or email for the really good deals, okay, that we may not have on our online store because we do have a, a store you should come in and shop at, okay? So... Go to myfavoritegroomer.com and click on contact or down. If you chat with me down below, you've got to put an email address on there or I'm never going to see it or I'm never going to be able to respond to you. And then when you come back, you're just a different ID. So all those don't get put together if you're doing the chat. I don't recommend the chat. I recommend just sending an email. So go to contact us, send an email, and I'll be able to reply to you pretty quickly there. Two. Thanks, for, Thanks watching. for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing our world with us. Uh, sharing what I do with you and being involved in thanks for watching the ads thanks for purchasing with us I believe in and many I've told you many of you out there I believe in uh, giving credit where credits due and supporting those businesses that you feel are you're learning from um, if you are using my techniques please give credit where credits due that means hey I've learned this from my favorite groomer and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it just like her uh, that's where you can pay it forward uh, it's teaching other people and what you do is how you learn through who, right? So I'm always about giving credit where credit's due, and I appreciate those of you who are already doing that. I have Patty out there with me, even on her website. She's got links to my videos on her website. So she asked for permission. I gave that to her, and that's just a, a, an applaud of, like, this is where you can, can see some techniques that I have learned, and this is who I learned it from. So those of you guys doing that, I really appreciate you more than you know. Uh, so today I want, just now, if I have a few minutes here to chit chat with you, I'm going to go through an email that I received and I think this hits home to a lot of you out there watching and own a pet that is aggressive or difficult, hard to manage. Aggressive means I will bite you, okay? That, that is my term of aggressive. The dog will bite me, no matter what the reason is. I'm not asking what the reason is. I'm saying my dog will bite you, okay? If you have a dog like that, this is, this is key for you listening and maybe learning something or handling your situation. Here goes the email. Hey Dee, Dee I have an eight year old Shih Tzu that's very, I mean very aggressive, even more aggressive than the ones you recorded on YouTube. <laughs> we never hurt or harmed him as a puppy. We got him from a breeder. We gave him so much loves and rubs, but as he got older, he became more and more aggressive. It's to the point where we can't brush him anymore at all. This has been going on for years now. So we take him to a place where he has to be sedated for grooming uh, to get anything done. And that bill is upwards to $650 a year. And we try to give him, make sure you guys get your face masks, okay? I, I'm actually making them now. So uh, I will hand make you your face mask. So make sure you order that. So let me take that off. Um, we try to give him pills to calm him down, but he's smarter than us and he doesn't eat them. Laugh out loud. In between the yearly grooms or whenever he has trouble doing the poops, we go to the back door to remove all the, that, I'm thinking rear end there, the back door to remove all the caught up hair and so I take that opportunity to cut some of his hair on his body and paws but once he feels we're not at his hiney anymore, he starts to bite. He loves going to the dog park and mingling with the pups and people who, when we, but when we touch him uh, to brush or cut him, he, he, his hair, he bites. And about a month ago, his nail just popped off. Uh, I know he is hurting and is in constant pain. We can't even inspect his coat to see if anything is wrong because he bites. Could you recommend something for him or tell us what to do? So first of all, uh, I, I pro me and David have talked about it a lot. We wouldn't own a dog like that. We would not let our dog do that to us. I, I don't know how to tell you how you need to do that, but between me and David, David would hold him and I am grooming him. Like it, it's not an and, if, but, nothing. It, it is we are doing this. And we've talked about how these animals kind of get to where they're, they're at. Unfortunately, like Sammy Davis, I personally don't think 
he's ever going to change. And if that's a challenge for somebody to show up and be like, I can help him change. No, I, I challenge you. Let me know. I'll connect you guys. But I don't think Sammy Davis is going to go backwards on us and become a totally calm dog during grooming. Recently, uh, some folks think that he really liked David. David just doesn't let go for me. So when I have David on the table and holding an aggressive dog, he do David does not let go. Does that make sense? If you have someone constantly letting go, yes, the dog's going to turn around and nip somebody. Bite, nip, use the teeth to correct. And that can, can be an issue. Okay, When a dog bites you or a groomer or somebody and it's bad enough that you're going to go to the doctor, it's out of your hands. What happens with that in the state, in the city, is beyond that situation. So you want to avoid biting at all costs or you potentially may run into a situation where you're having to put your dog down without your consent, okay? So that's that's why we do, a, I'm very serious about the dog biting and aggressive dogs and I'm very firm and I know my, my limits, you know? But there's a reason why things are the way they are, okay? If you don't know what they are, go study it. Go figure it out yourself. But there's a reason why dealing with an aggressive animal is very serious. It's not a joke. It's not funny. It is very serious. It may be something I do, but it's not something that I'm like, oh, it's, a, it's not that. It's serious. Okay, getting back to her question.